Hello and welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy and in this video I will be having a look at the AMD Radeon software and more specifically at the part where you can overclock your GPU. So the AMD Radeon software comes with this pre-configured or pre-installed uh, tuning option and this gives you the opportunity to overclock your GPU. Now if you don't know, do not know what overclocking is, overclocking is basically increasing the clock speed of your uh, of your GPU. So every chip, like the CPU, the processor, or the GPU, the graphical processing unit, which is just a video card, maybe you know that, uh, you know it by that name, or a graphics card or whatever. They always have this central processing unit and the CPU has one and the GPU also has one. So the GPU has, in this case, has a base frequency of 1290. You can boost that up to a little bit more. So if I would click this right here and I would click proceed, which I'm not going to do because it's probably going to crash my video recorder, um, it will boost up to 1360. So this software will actually f sort of find the maximum frequency that it can boost to sort of stable, uh, but stable that's you know, quote unquote stable because we're going to see in this video that it's not always as good as it looks. So basically you just have to click this one button and that would magically give you some extra frames per second. And we're gonna see if that is actually the case. So without further ado, here are the benchmarks. At the end of the video, I'll be doing a little bit of an overview what I think of the, of the software. Do I recommend it or not? Stay tuned for that. Watch mate. So now we looked at the performance, let's see what temperatures this uh, brought up. Because of course, with higher frequencies come more temperatures. And actually, that's the other way around, because by default, your video card will have a certain fan profile uh, that is that has been set by the manufacturer to make sure that your graphics card does not make too much noise but also doesn't overheat too much so it's a little bit in between but if you're going to overclock and AMD knows this of course you want to have the best cooling possible so what's this software is going what the software is going to do is it's going to ramp up your uh, RPMs as we can see in the next slide uh, the auto overclock will make your GPU a lot noisier and it will make it cooler of course but that's just because the, the fan temperatures are really uh, the, the, the fan speeds are really 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 high and um, that's why your GPU stays so cool that's the only reason because the overclock should produce that much more heat uh, it's only like a seven like I said in my case only about a 70 megahertz overclock it shouldn't really make that much of a difference but still AMD wants to be sure and wants to really ramp up that uh, that fan speed all the way up to the max if possible and uh, that's something that you can see in this graph over here so in conclusion no I don't recommend this software and yes I do suggest you do some research on overclocking before you go ahead and overclock and before you think that just pressing a button gets you 10 extra FPS or something like that you have to know what you're doing and uh, please consult the right um, the right websites and the right uh, people like I know for a fact that I follow a channel called Jace Two Cents. Uh, he does a lot of overclocking things. He knows what he's doing. Um, I suggest you have a look at his channel if you really want to overclock your GPU. So actually uh, you might wonder why do I don't I recommend you see that there are a couple of extra frames per second in Fortnite and Battlefield at Overwatch but as you can see in the Fire Strike benchmark it actually performed worse the fans are always turning up super loud and uh, of course the harder the fans are spinning 
the more wear that there comes on the fence. So the fence will actually have a lot less lifespan than they would usually have. And also uh, Fortnite, for example, uh, was a game that actually crashed on me. So whenever I would overclock, uh, sometimes it would work and sometimes it would just crash. So it is pretty unstable and that is why I don't recommend the, uh, the AMD software. But uh, besides that, I thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.